Hey, welcome back to another review. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the LG X Boom uh, 360 X03, I believe this model's called, always escapes me. Um, nice new model here, um, only had only been out for a couple of days or so. Um, been playing around for the last couple of hours, um, just getting used to it, um, having a feel for the sound, um, and I'm here to create a review for you. Um, it's well, obviously, first off, it's much smaller than I thought. As looking on the pictures on the website, maybe if I'd done a bit more looking and actually read into the dimensions and stuff, obviously, I would have realized. But I thought it would be a similar size to the RP4, I believe it was called the bigger one, um, which um, has been out for a long time now and has actually got very good reviews. Um, I wasn't a massive fan of it just due to the, the lights and the look of it, um, but I wasn't a popular opinion, so fair enough. But personally, that one wasn't for me. I, I kind of hope this one would be a similar size so we could get the same type of base out of it, but it is much smaller, um, so it depends really what you're after, I suppose. I guess this is the more kind of like more um, home type speaker, though, that if you want to take a proper party speaker, the RP4 is definitely a better choice, I think. Um, but this has got some quite interesting light settings as well. As you can see here, we've got like a party strobe setting on at the moment. I'm not entirely sure if it really dances to the music though, it seems to just kind of do its own thing. Which again was kind of one of the gripes I had about the RP4, is that it just doesn't seem as polished as some other brands. Um, and I feel like the trend continues a little bit here, but that's obviously not the main point of these speakers. It's It's got a lovely design to it, lovely feel, lovely materials. Um, and it's also got, what's really cool, is these buttons at the top are touch. Well, they're not buttons there, if you can hear them. It's a little like makes a little ding and they're literally just touch buttons so you can control all this just by tapping them which is quite fancy um and it makes makes for a nice experience actually um you've got the power button down the bottom there along with the charging port um, under the wireless cover and stuff like that there's no real easy way to carry it there is this carrying handle which can be added to the back but um it was nice that the rp4 had a built-in metal handle at the top did make for easier carrying around um but obviously, what can you do? Um, you, you really do want this handle on if you're taking it anywhere because you don't want to be carrying it by this plastic bit at the top. It doesn't feel as sturdy as it might look. And you can hear the plastic creaking about a bit and shifting about. And it feels, well, basically you do want a handle on there. So it's quite cool that the handle can be taken on and off. But I think it's probably best to just leave it on really. And whenever you're moving it about, it should probably be used by the handle. Um, but at least they've included something like that. Um, as far as the sound goes, obviously I'll let you listen for yourself in a minute. I think the bass is is good for a speaker of this size, but not the best. I have like the JBL Extreme speakers to me seem to seem to deliver just a bit more thumping, like just a bit stronger um, bass. But then I guess they just have more a bit more real estate with passive radiators on either side to do that. The sound on this is definitely clearer and louder than the JBL Extremes, but if you're after a bit more bass, then they I think they do have the upper hand in that. It's really hard to tell without having one with me, but it does feel like they've got the upper hand in that in that area um, a little bit there. Um, but obviously no lights and not the form factor on this is a much more appealing. Obviously can't really sit on its side, so you do have to have somewhere to store it where it can you can you know store it. Can't really go on a shelf with another shelf above it that's too low. Um, so we will need a little bit of space, but the design itself is really nice. You've got an upward firing speaker on the top here as well, which is quite nice just to add a bit more. And the 360 degree sound is flawless. It does literally the whole way around, as you would expect from LG. But um, yeah, you don't get any gaps in play there, unlike some other 360 speakers where you can definitely tell it gets quieter at some point. Uh, this speaker isn't like that at all. You can hear it perfectly all the way around and it is very clear sound. Um, so I'm going to play um, Diamond Eyes by Everything. Um, Sorry, everything by Diamond Eyes, an NCS song, um, on this speaker, and yeah, either one I always do. We're going to be doing it at around ninety percent volume, just so we don't get too much distortion. But you can hear pretty much everything the speaker has to offer. So I'll play that for you now. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like 
I did have a little problem with those touch buttons on top there, literally just there, as you saw, wouldn't wasn't registering for a while, which is a little bit worrying. Um, hopefully that is a one-off thing. Um, but as you can tell, it's not, it's obviously not the strongest speaker out there in in terms of volume or bass. But for the size and and for the materials that you use and everything like that, I think it is honestly a very nice speaker. Um, it is quite easy on the pricey side, but. Um, but you know it's LG as well, so you're not getting bad quality here. It's a nice put 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 together thing. Um, it does have an app which comes with it as well, um, as I'll show up on the screen now. It's very similar, well, the exact same app obviously that I uh, that used on the previous LG speaker. Got really the same options. You've just got some options to change the EQ, the sound boost, and then pretty much the same options for the lights, um, and then just some options. You know, you can change, you can add like a par um, strobe party strobe mode and stuff like that. And you can put like as a candle mode, so you can make it look like a candle, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing too overly exciting. You can then add sleep timers and stuff like that. But yeah, nothing massively interesting. But it's nice to have those options there. I think the lights, as as we just saw in that, I think they're just a bit, especially in that mode, they're just a bit too much. Uh, that was just too, and I don't feel like and you can see actually in looking at it there that they are reacting to the music, but. It's a bit random, to be honest, and it's a bit, you know. Um, so this is the candle effect, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, refreshing morning, that one. Comfort of a cosy night. Um, these are some of the nature ones. You've got Aurora, which looks quite good. A gentle flutter. I think something like this is better than this gorgeous night view one, which is frankly just too much. Um, it's yeah it's just it, it's it's not really doing anything apart from just blinding people and flashing random lights about so yeah i've just gone through literally every setting the speaker has and for me that's just the problem not the problem but it's the thing that lets these down um people didn't agree with me last time but it's i mean all all you've got playing these lights let me, let me try and focus the camera is this funny little light thing up the top here which just kind of it's just it's not as good as as its counterparts unfortunately i mean sony definitely did some better ones before not sure where they're at now really with their new range they're a bit disappointing um but jbo definitely are just leagues ahead in terms of their lighting well i'm sorry but they are um there are obviously some options in the app and it doesn't it's not like there's nothing uh but it's just frankly when you look at some of the jbo alternatives at the moment like the pulse 5 um and obviously the party speakers, it, there's just no reason. If you're looking for the lights anyway, obviously there's just no reason to get this. Obviously this isn't the only reason you buy this, and this does definitely outperform the Pulse 5 in terms of sound and bass, but I do wish that they spent a little bit more time on the lights maybe and just, I don't know. I'm not sure how. I'm not, that's not, that's not my job, but I think I think there's still work to be done in that department, but all round is a very good speaker. Um and and it's got a nice sound to it. Although the LG speaker that I previously reviewed, the XG7, I think it was, which is my last video. If you want to watch that, go for it. Um, I think I would rather have that over this. It's got a better form factor, slightly lighter. It doesn't have any lights, 
Oh no, sorry, it does. Sorry, it does have lights on the side, which I actually think look cooler, actually, to be fair. And you can see a bit of the passive radiators moving about with the bass, which I also really like. Um, I really like that speaker. Um, and honestly, I would recommend that over this um, purely because of, well, not purely, but the price and just the form factor as well um, and the lights, to be honest. But this definitely isn't a bad one. And you're not going to be upset if you go with this over one of the JBL Extreme alternatives, which doesn't have any lights at all, obviously. Um, but I do think there there is room to improve. But it, it looks like they're going in the right direction because there's definitely more customization than there was last time. So, yeah, that's all from me. Um, if you want to pop, pop some questions down in the comments, any opinions, stuff like that, I'd be more than happy to hear those and reply to those. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.